and in a bid to manifest my doctorate and just completing it and putting it behind me and taking that achievement off on my list, I have put this picture that was taken in 2016, I think, yes. Um, and I'm wearing a red robe there. And basically, that's just me manifesting that the next time I'm wearing a red robe should be when I'm getting my doctorate. Today I am coming to you from London. I'm currently staying with my uh, one of my best friends and her flatmate and this is their flat and today I thought I would be vlogging because I'm going to my alma mater, University of London's School of Oriental and African Studies, SOAS and I'm going there to see my old professor and also I might pop into the library to see if they've got one of the books that I need for my doctorate or two and um, their library is just incredible so it might be useful just to go and see if um, there's anything I can find useful in there so I thought I'd take you with me and basically follow the style of how I was as a student I know quite a lot of you particularly on my Instagram are always interested to see you know how is it to study abroad and all that stuff so I thought let me just vlog a day in my life and it's going to be sort of like a day in my life as a doctoral student if you will but it's more or less what i used to do when i was studying my masters here so i think it's a fun day um i've also got tickets to the yayoi kusama uh, exhibition in at the tate modern and it was sold out and ha it has been sold out but i was on standby and i finally got tickets so i'm very excited so it's an action-packed vlog and i hope that you enjoy it Okay, I just finished getting ready and I'm just wearing these boots from Cotton On stockings. The skirt is from H&M. My friend actually gave me this jacket. It's from ASOS and I'm just wearing this jersey from Superbulist with my backpack from a Freedom of Movement. And you look good too. What are you wearing? Thank you. I'm wearing a coat from Misguided, boots from ASOS and a black dress from ACC. And your bag? My bag is, of course, uh, Telfizi. Oh, looking good, girl, looking <laughs> good. Okay, we're out, we're out, we're gone. Peace out. Just waiting for our tube. Got out of the station and now we're walking to the university. Where which direction are we going? That way. So one of the things that a lot of people always ask me is about motivation and how do you keep going particularly when you want to quit because it's all a mental game and if you don't motivate yourself it doesn't matter if your supervisor be believes in you it doesn't matter if your parents believe in you it's just academia is just that type of beast so lucia has finished her doctorate and that is obviously you know the pinnacle of all academic endeavors so i want her to talk about how do you reach deep down and not quit and keep motivating yourself to just keep going lucia over to you yes you have to know why you're doing it. You have to really be adamant about the reason you started a PhD. If you're starting a PhD thinking it will get you fame, it will give you money, that's not the, the right that's track. That's not the right track. <laughs> that's not the right track. But if you have a passion, like if you say, I want to become an expert in my field, I know why I want to become an expert in my field. Maybe there's no representation for my um ethnicity maybe mm -hmm. there's no representation for my gender mm -hmm. there's no representation for my lived experience mm -hmm. then you become the expert yeah and that's why i became the expert yeah 
because I wanted to talk about international law, I wanted to talk about refugee law, but I also wanted to talk about women. But I didn't see any representation from people who had the lived experience of growing up as a refugee. It was all academic. Yeah, yeah. all academic. And I wanted to add that element into the research. So I struggled a lot, especially if you're doing a PhD without any funding. It has to be your own internal motivation to continue and push through. And also having the right support. So good supervisor, good uh, cohort of, of colleagues that you can support on. But particularly that self-motivation and realizing why you're doing it. Don't do it because you think it's gonna get you some kind of status that you're able to walk around plastered on your head because no one's gonna know that you're a doctor or a PhD walking mm -hmm. down the street. Mm -hmm. It's about what you want to contribute and what you want to add to the scholarship. Amazing, because after all, it is a contribution to the scholarship. Mm -hmm. Notwithstanding novel contribution, still must be a contribution. Exactly. So yeah, thank you, Lulu. Thank you. Wise words from a person who's finished the ever elusive doctorate. <laughs> I like that. Okay, guys, just to give you a tour um, of how SOAS works, basically behind me, that's the main building where all our lectures used to be, the side, that's where some of our lectures used to be, and then um, the gallery is also that side, and then this side is where um, this other college of the University of London is, um, that college is called Birkbeck, that's there, and then UCL is, University College London is around that corner over there. And then over here, that's where all our lecturers um, and their offices are. So this is, I guess, what you would call the precinct. But yeah, this is my former uni. <coughs> Lucia and I have separated. I'm going to go to Starbucks and do some work there. I'm almost at the Starbucks and yeah, I hope that you guys are enjoying the vlog so far. So if you're at this part, uh, tell me in the comments what it is that you wish you could study if you got over your fear of failure.
I'm at the Tate. I'm at the Tate and I'm walking in. Just so so nice. If I had space in my luggage, maybe I'd get one. I specifically like this. Okay, so yesterday turned out to just be like a crazy day after. Um, I don't think I vlogged anything after that. I didn't vlog dinner. I didn't vlog anything. But this is the following day now. I'm back in the kitchen having my coffee. And I just thought I would end the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching this very first uh, study diaries. I really hope you've enjoyed it. There are way more to come. And so if you aren't subscribed already, make sure that you are subscribed. And if you are subscribed, make sure that you've turned on your notifications so that you get that um, ding anytime I upload anything and yeah thank you so much for watching my vlog particularly up until this point I really do enjoy it when people watch the vlogs to the full um, so if you are still watching comment below quite apart from yeah I think I said something about comment below what you would study if you were not afraid of failure I think yeah tell me tell me what it is that you would study if you weren't afraid of failure what um, further degree or what degree or what qualification or what would you do if you did not fear failure and let this be the year where we kind of motivate ourselves each other to let go of the fear of failure because failure is always um, a possibility and so to fear it is to stop yourself from living a very very full life so if failure or the fear of failure is stopping you from pursuing something I really do want to motivate you that if you're watching this perhaps this is a sign that you know you just need to let that go a little bit okay um, but yeah I, I also struggle with the same thing so you guys you guys are not alone I also struggle with fear of failure quite a lot um, particularly now that I'm feeling like the stakes are higher and higher and higher so but comment below and let me know and i will see you in my next one thank you so much for watching guys bye